Well, NBA fans, here we are just a few short minutes after the deadline for trading in the NBA, and boy, it was an exciting day for my team, the Cleveland Cavaliers out of Cleveland, Ohio. In a series of trades that began before the season, the Cleveland Cavaliers unloaded flat earther and generally unhappy guy Kylie Irving and sent him to the Boston Celtics for Isaiah Thomas and Jason Crowder and that basically has been undone in today's trades uh, as we'll find out in a few moments. We uh, traded to the Lakers that same Isaiah Thomas and also got rid of Jason Crowder for Larry Nance Jr., whose father, Larry Nance Sr., was a notable Cleveland Cavalier out of Cleveland, Ohio during the 1990s. And we've also gotten Rondi Hood from the Utah Jazz out of Utah. Uh, we have gotten uh, Dwayne Wade, who came to us from Miami before the season, turns out was just basically coming over to stay at his friend LeBron James's house for a few months before heading back to the Miami Heat out of Miami, Florida. And we also have gotten George Hill. I thought George Hill was a stand-up comic, but what do I know? He was with a team that wasn't the Cleveland Cavaliers out of Cleveland, so why would I know that? Also in this trade, we have gotten rid of Darren Rose, who went to the Utah Jazz out of Utah, and we have also gotten Jordan Clarkson, who is basically the NBA's version of the TV sitcom from the 90s, ALF. So the most important piece is the man who we've all witnessed do his thing, LeBron, father of four, James, and boy, were we worried, but don't worry, he's staying with the Cleveland Cavaliers out of Cleveland, Ohio. If you disagree with my take on the NBA trades and the NBA deadline, leave your comment below.